Hello everyone. Now that we are done with backward elimination method, next which comes in the queue is recursive feature elimination. What exactly it is? So the meaning is very simple. Recursive feature elimination means removing the features iteratively or repetitively till the time when you reach the desired number of feature which you needed, desired number of most important feature which you needed to train your model. Right. So let me explain you with example. Let's say this is your data which has five independent feature and one target feature which is loan status. Now in the first iteration what happens is it takes whole set of data and trains the model and it gives you the importance of each of the feature. And now out of this list you would realize or it finds the least important feature. Here you can see that is none other than this one which is male which simply says whether the applicant was male or female right so this is the least important feature so what it will do is it will remove this feature from this iteration now this this these steps will be repeated till the time we reach the desired reach to the point where it, we are left with only those set of those number of features which we had asked for so the question comes in how these importance is decided. So there are models like decision tree or logistic regression etc. In decision tree you get a property which is called feature importance. So this is the property which is leveraged to find the importance of each of the features. So how does exactly it work? When you train the RFE it takes two parameter. One is which model you want to use for this RFE which is recursive feature elimination and then how many features exactly you want to be selected right out of this entire process. So let's say I want to select the here I have five features and out of that I want to select three most important feature. So over here I will write three and over here the model which I want to use for RFE is decision tree for example. So I will put decision tree. If you put logistic regression then RFE will utilize the coefficient thing right it has logistic regression has the property of coefficient that will be utilized. So this is how in nutshell the recursive feature elimination works. Now I'm going to tell you I'm going to show you how to implement this in Python. So let me show you it over here. In interest of the time what I have done is I have already imported all the dependencies. So here I have imported two recursive feature elements. One is recursive feature element recursive feature elimination with cross validation and this is just recursive feature elimination. I will be showing you this one and I would suggest that you should go ahead and try this one. Okay. Now here I have imported the data and here you are seeing the whole set of data. This is our target feature rest of all are rest all are independent features. So in total we have 13, 31 features out of which one is dependent or the target feature remaining 30 are the independent feature. Here what I have done is I have done the train test split of the features which we train test split of the data not the features train test split of the data which we usually do before starting to train any of the model. That's exactly what it is right now I'm going to create the RFA. So for RFE, I'm going to create an instance called RFE select and inside that I'm going to use RFE inside that it is simply asking me to provide the estimator. Estimator means you need to tell which model you want to use. So here I will be using decision tree and here it says number of uh, number of features to select how many features we want to select. That's what we, uh, we need to tell to this particular model. So here I'm going to use decision tree classifier decision tree classifier and the number of features which I want to select let's say out of 30 I want to select seven features okay out of 30 I want to select seven features now over here I would require to say fit and here let's say x train train and y underscore train that is it now after this it is going to complete the task it keeps an error missing one argument self what is self Okay, let me see if this is executed or not. Why it is saying self missing one requirement positional argument self. Okay, 
all right so the problem is here the way i have written decision tree because i'm creating the instance right so i need to write it with parenthesis right now let me just run this this is done then the next thing which we are going to do is rfa.select uh, rfa, uh, rfa underscore select dot here there's something called support this one right and when you do this what you are seeing is see it, for rest of the features it says false 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 means those are not much important but this set of the features these are these all turns out to be the important features right so now let's put it in the form of data frame so here i'm going to say important features and let's see what all are the important features that we need to along with the name here we don't know which name which feature name is true etc right so that's what i'm going to simplify over here so there is something called zip to concatenate to uh list right so first list go, which goes is x train dot columns from us uh, which simply mean is out of the training set of data i'm fetching all the list of the columns and then the second list in the second list i'm going to take this one and then i'm going to convert it into the list and then i'm going to put it in the pandas data frame all right now over here and here because if we are converting anything into the pandas data frame i need to provide the uh, column names also right so here i'm going to say features or you can also say feature name and here i'm going to say importance important or not that's that's it now i'm going to say important features and let's just see all right now let me just sort this also let's say sort values and inside that by important important and ascending because i want to sort it in descending order so i would say ascending equals to false so now you see these are the seven features which are most important to train our model rest everything is least important now when you are doing this here we said seven features which is very much fixed right if you want you can also say that i require 0.25 which is 25 percent of the features all the features let's say there are 100 features then it will give you 25 features out of that if there are 200 it will give you 50 features etc so 25 percent of all the uh, independent features i want to select into it right so that's what it will happen now over here you see again we got seven because seven is uh 25 percent of uh, approximately 25 percent of the 30 right so this is how we implement the recursive feature elimination in python hope it was easy to understand just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out until then happy learning wish you very